Well, it looks like my old company's 401k already died. Um, that happened to uh, Mattel, too. Their 401k died. And then they switched over to a new company. Um, I think that happens when you go against the queen. Hmm. I saw some people doing the math this morning, eating a fruit cup, thinking about this uh, hotel that I visited in California in um, Solvang. Have you guys been to Solvang in California? Um, it's a really, uh, really nice um, town. It's a really nice town. I know you guys are commenting on my hair right now. Okay, I'm sorry. You're like, hair's looking beautiful again, Liz. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Um, it's a really beautiful town uh, in Northern California that it's like a, it's like a uh, Norwegian or Swedish or, you know, um, Scandinavian village, basically. It's called Solvang. And did they have a, I don't think they did have, um, Um, catamom buns, which are so good. Cardamom buns. <laughs> catamom. Cardamom buns. Um, anyway, so I went to Solvang and went to, I had a, a hotel room there. With my two dogs. It was the cutest little place, like super cute. Um, why do I keep wanting to call it an apartment? super cute hotel uh in Solvang and it was like really beautiful with like this really beautiful garden and it was like right in the middle of town and um like the rooms were really like the room was huge like it had like a living room and like a bedroom and I think like two baths or something it was like a lot of space basically for just and I think it had a kitchen too for like just me and my dogs you know I, I brought my dogs obviously and um that's when Opie's was like at his, at his very end and he just had really bad bladder problems. But other than that, it was a good trip. And my poor little Opie's, I just had to like clean him constantly on that trip. And he like would get like up, upset and everything, you know, and uh, just like, yeah, poor little old age Opie's. But old age isn't real, right? And death isn't real, but you guys didn't want to tell me that back then, right? So my little dog, I thought that he was actually getting old and that he actually had to die. And I actually had to put my dog down. And that made me really, you know, I couldn't sleep basically for like a month after that because my dogs are my everything. Um, and, you know, somehow my dog can actually walk into this dimension, but you guys are holding that information back for me. And that is just so fun. That's just like so fun being God, you know, um, just love that for me. I just love that for me. My Opie's is just happy and healthy somewhere. And he was actually happy and healthy then, but he was affected by dogs get old and the narrative that things get old and they're, you know, dementia is dementia and affected by people in my life and affected by people that have animals in my life and all that fun stuff. It's like really, really fun for me to root, like think about that time and think about how much you are really affecting my energy to think that like 3D, like 3D reality is real. And um, that's actually when I was being like stalked by like, um, telepathically like I was like Jean Grey Phoenix like on overdrive and it was just like just like hearing like all kinds of crazy conversations that were super mean to me then yeah <laughs> I remember that time um yeah it was like so fun and I'm sure it was like so fun for Opie's too anyway um my poor little baby I mean, he's like literally just like a little dog and like you guys, like convinced him all. Anyway, he's, he, hope he's had like a really hard life and he, he was normal for like a few years. Um, I got him to be normal for like a few years and then he kind of, um, like all of a sudden he was like fine. And then like all of a sudden, like one day he was just like 
extremely skinny, like lost half of his weight. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell happened, Obies? And then he started like bladder controlling, like peeing all over the place, bladder controlling and like at demanding water, like demanding water, like, like, like I need to be drinking water like 24 seven. Alyssa, like that was like my dog to me. And I'd be like, Opie's, you cannot drink <laughs> water all the time. You're literally peeing all over the place. And, um, you know, they couldn't find anything wrong with him. And then they wanted to test him for cancer. And I'm like, literally my dog is freaking dying. And do you want to test him for cancer? And I just don't see, like, he's like 108 or something in dog years. And like, you want to test him for cancer? And I'm like, I don't, I don't think that, what, what's that going to do? Like, he's going to like be crazy and delusional for like another year with expensive cancer treatment for a dog. I just didn't see the point. Like, I didn't really, I, I saw him as like suffering, right? I saw him suffering out loud and I just wanted him to not suffer. And I couldn't sleep for a month because of that. And I was like, you know, like this the whole time um, for like a month and like hanging out with Opie's um, in heaven. And yeah, apparently none of that had to happen. Apparently none of it had to happen. No, it didn't. Okay. And somebody has those codes for me. Okay. Okay. Oh, Brandon has those codes. We know Brandon has those codes. Okay. (laughs) We know that, okay? But some humans have those codes too. And some humans knew that Obis didn't have to suffer back then. Because why am I getting all this flood of collection right now? So anyway, I um, the point I was saying was that I was, I was in somebody's body this morning, okay? I don't know if you guys know that or about me or whatever, but I do jump into your freaking body and I get your, I collect your data, I collect your thoughts, Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you like put it in an email or you like lock it on your phone or whatever, because I can just jump in your body and like grab the thoughts from you because I'm literally God. So anyway, believe us, no one is like, this is what Alyssa is like when she gets angry. (laughs) Okay. So yeah, I was in this lady's body and eating a fruit cup. And, um, I mean, my dog lost half of his weight. (laughs) He went from like 20 some pounds to 12 pounds. Okay. And he wasn't like not eating and he was still, it's not like I wasn't feeding him or something. Like all of a sudden he was like 12 pounds and I'm like, what the fuck happened to my dog? You know? Anyway. Um, right? You guys want to blame sobriety on my weight loss or something? Like, you're so funny. Like, how stupid are you, general public? Like, you're, you like sound like so dumb because like telepathy wise and telepathically wise, you're like, we know none of this is like real, Alyssa. Like, we're not that dumb. And like, we know there's no rules, Alyssa. And it's like easy to steal, Alyssa. And like, we'll show you. And then like, when I talk to you and stuff like that, you're just like, oh, your dog your dog lost all of his weight and he died. We're so sorry, Alyssa. That must have been so hard for you. Like, decide who you are, general public, okay? Like, decide who you are. Like, which one are you, okay? Are you your telepathically telepathically thoughts, okay? Or are you what comes out of your mouth? Which one are you, okay? Because they're two different, they're two different people, okay? And those are gonna be two different fates, okay? You're going two different places. It's called split. Are you splitting? Are you splitting? <laughs> so fun for you. I love splitting. <laughs> They're splitting. <laughs> so great. So great for you. Oh, of course, you'll never tell us any of it, what, what it's about, right? You'll never tell any of us what that was like, will you? <laughs> Unless we force it out of you. Unless we tie you to a chair. <laughs> Why would we? <laughs> Okay. Um, no, that was not a bomb. That was just my cup hitting the table. Okay. Calm down. It wasn't Putin. Calm down. (laughs) It wasn't North Korea. Okay. You can relax for like one second. Okay, Becky. (laughs) Can you relax for like one second? It wasn't a bomb. It wasn't a bomb. Okay. Can you? Can you relax? Cool. 
cool beans. Okay. Um, so anyway, it's only been 10 minutes. I feel like it's been 40 minutes already. That's weird. So I was eating that fruit cup in somebody else's body and she was remembering how I went to Solvang and how I paid for a, um, and she dropped her fruit too on the counter. Like she dropped like a piece of her fruit and she was remembering how, um, I don't know if you know how this works because you're saying it was my mom, um, my mom's memory, but actually it's a group of people. I don't know if you know that or whatever. Okay. It's actually a group of people that had like, it's like a collective memory. It's like collective. Okay. Because actually, um, uh, she doesn't eat fruit cups. Okay. I know you like to think you know better than me. And I know you like to think you're smart. Okay. My mother doesn't eat fruit cups. She doesn't. Okay. So it's a collective memory of like an overlap of like people, places, and things. I know it's hard for your little tiny human brain to comprehend that. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, you guys think you're so goddamn smart. And that's what I love about the general public. Cause you just make my job so much easier when you do, when you say stuff like that, and when you do stuff like that to prove that I'm right. I love that. I love that for me. It's really fun for me, actually, when I get to this point, because I know it's coming. Okay, it's called the I told you so. Okay. Um, okay, so um, yeah, and so she was remembering like that specific hotel. So it was probably like that hotel's manager or like that hotel's owner or something like that. And, um, she was probably remembering, <clears throat> she was probably remembering when I came and like spent money at her hotel. I mean, my mom is like the only one that has these specific dishes in the entire world. And you guys that are like remote viewing it, like see these like specific dishes and like literally like they're so rare in the world. Like literally no one in the entire world has these specific dishes, like no one. So, like, I totally get why you would think that. Because <laughs> you are that smart. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, so anyway, they were, like, really worried, right? Because they were like, oh, my God, she spent money here. Because <laughs> we're all TD Finance, right? We're all TD Finance, okay? You can't afford you can't afford to let Alyssa spend money on your establishment. You need to give it all to her for free. Okay. Okay. You can't afford it. You can't afford to neglect me. You can't afford to not give me what I want. Okay. It's going to be very expensive if you can't, if you can't give me what I want. And what do I want right now? Vapes and wine, baby all day. Okay. And yes, I do want to live out of, like, I should be able to walk to like the Four Seasons Palm Springs right now and just like live there for as long as I want. Why would I go to Palm Springs? I definitely wouldn't. I'm just saying that. Okay. Um, okay. Same thing about driving. I don't, I shouldn't have to go to the DMV and get another license. Like I'm literally God. Okay. I should be allowed to drive. Okay. I'm not a person. <laughs> I'm not a person. Remember? <laughs> General public, like, you know that, right? <laughs> General public knows I'm not a person, but makes me conform to rules. Why is that? Does it hold 3D in place, Kamala? Is that why? Does it keep 3D, the 3D game level in place? Just like um, thinking some things are bad and some things are good. Right? Some things are like against the law and some things are like okay with the law, right? That was the same thing that God said, like, okay, get ready to like not exist. <laughs> like, were you guys trying to convince God that like she could not exist? Like you can? Because like I mean it's so funny how that's why my brain gets like turned into mush because like I am combining with um what, what should we call him the lost star man's narrative okay 
And it's just like how they come to their conclusions when they treat me like a mortal or like that I'll have the same penance that the lost star man had, you know, um, or that I'll like have the same proclivities as the lost star man, or that I'll have like the same demeanor as the lost star man, or like, you know, there's just like so many ways to like explore that and like to say that out loud without, without not saying it, you know what I mean? <laughs> and like, um, the lost star man. Yeah. I mean, we've all met him by now, right? Like we all know what she's talking about. There you go. Like, I'm listening in and, like, listening to their telepathy. Okay. Um, I think you guys call it improv improvisation. It's called improvisation, right? In, like, acting. It's, like, called, like, improv in, like, acting and stuff, you know? Like, give me a topic and, like, I'll talk about it and, like, let me see how I can do. Okay? <laughs> like that, right? Or, like, give me a personality and, like, let me see if I can do it. Okay? Right, Alejandro? I have no idea who I am today. Um, like that. Okay, so, um, yeah. Anyway, you guys are listening in and you are doing the math. And, like, you literally, like, like, I, I don't know how many times to say this, but if you are flare, I think it's called flare vapes. You need to be sending me like cartons and cartons and cartons of that shit. Like just send like a big box like this of like all the flavors. I don't like mint and I don't like clear, but pretty much all the rest of the flavors like that in a big old box. And they should just be, just, should just be sent to my house by now. Okay. Um, yeah, the Lost Star Man is like totally fucking up our game and like he did it last year as well. Okay. You totally fucked up our game last year and we found out why is because you were like, a little tin can and you were on the struggle bus and affected my little my little brother's energy can you imagine that i mean i'm not going to get mad at that no of course not you can affect the innocent that's fine don't worry about it Okay. Um, anyway, when you guys say like passive aggressive comments and stuff, um, it did happen last time or like passive aggressive, like weird code comments and everything. Uh, I want you to know like that's Brandon coming through you, my actual husband. And what he's doing is he's pushing, um, cause he's actually talking to me in not a passive aggressive manner. He's actually talking to me in like a regular normal manner. And he's like combining with your energy. And so like it can like maybe have like a juxtaposition of faith and what it, in it or whatever. But it's usually just like Brandon talking to me clearly about something. And like I don't really get it or whatever because it's like not like a full like conversation or whatever. But it like usually makes sense a little bit later. Um, but what he's doing is he's eating you. Okay. So if, if you're talking to me in a passive aggressive like weird manner or um, mean manner or – you know, anything that's not like straightforward and like sweet and like fun, like my personality towards myself, right? So if you're like anything like that, like I just want you to know like that's Brandon Lee, like he's actually eating you and you'll never see him probably. And, um, you know, unless you like go online, like Google him and like to look at his picture or you Google me and you look at my Instagram and it's full of his pictures, then you might see his picture. Okay, but that's the only way you're going to see him. You're not allowed to see him. <laughs> so it's a really good way to go blind. Yeah. Sorry. I thought you guys knew that. I mean, okay, so last night I had two dreams. Again, my sleep was weird and I did, um, I did sit up again a couple of times last night. I don't know what the hell's up with me sitting up and like that in the middle of the night. My leg hurt so bad. My leg and foot hurt so bad. It felt like my Achilles heel was going to um, snap in half. And let me guess, it probably did in a few bodies. 
it felt so goddamn bad. It like it was like really, really, really hurt. And um, I was like, all right, I gotta stop walking for a little while. And you guys want me to? You guys want me to stop eating carbs for a while? I'll do my best. Um, I don't know. You guys think there might be like a code in it if I stop eating carbs? So I will try to stop eating carbs. I mean, I can definitely go a few days without eating carbs. I don't know how, like, how long I can possibly go. Like, if I can go, like, a, <clears throat> I'll let you know. Um, we're beating the crap out of ourselves because of the lost star man. Thank you so much, Lost Star Man, for ruining our lives for 44 years. I really appreciate it. And maybe some of us a little bit longer because we're a little bit older. I think Ryan Reynolds is saying that. I think he's a little bit older. Let's Google Ryan Reynolds' birthday. Let's find out, okay? Ryan Reynolds' birthday. October 23rd. Oh my God. Happy birthday, Ryan. It's almost your birthday. Okay. October 23rd, 1976. So yes, he is four years older than me. So he is 48. (laughs) 48? I think he's 47 and he'll be 48 in 11 days. (laughs) Let me do all the math. Okay. So, um, yeah. Happy birthday, Ryan. Shout out from God. What's up? (laughs) Um, not like I'm going to get a birthday party. I mean, I like haven't had like a birthday party in like years because, it is just so fun to celebrate God's birthday. I mean, oh, look, you guys filled in when I said that. Yeah, it's been great. It's been a great seven years or whatever. Um, there's this whole thing about a birthday party and whatever, but like, thanks for like letting it affect my life, like conglomerate of energy. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's illegal too. I'm pretty sure Brandon is laughing right now. Uh, about you guys neglecting his wife. So, yeah. Told you about the fruit cup this morning, which I didn't even write down, believe it or not. Wait, that's in the helicopter. Oh, the dreams, the dreams, the dreams. Okay, so I had a dream that I married Ben last night, and I can't find it because I wrote, I wrote a whole other book about it, apparently. Oh, the hair products killed themselves last night. So that was cool. <laughs> Colin Farrell's doing a, um, a broadcast. I can't hear it. So he must be yelling at you guys. Um, where's the... There it is. I just saw like my hairline get lower. And like go into a point. Um, I saw this, I saw, so I've been seeing like spirit, like an actual spirit, like flying out of like people and stuff. Like I saw one fly out of April O'Neil, um, and she was being reset. A lot of you just keep getting reset, reset, reset. The unique recycling system is a real thing. You just keep getting sent to the unique recycling system. It changes your personality. It'll change what you post about. It'll change everything about you. (laughs) So, um. You know, it's also probably not that great for your mental facilities and stuff if you're changing that fast. Because you are just immortal. You're not immortal. Okay. So, um, anyway, I saw this die. So, like, I guess, like, the hair products are listening in or whatever. I guess, like, people from the hair product place were like, Alyssa, give us strength. And it was like, are your hair products supposed to give my hair strength? And so, like, that killed, like, the hair products, okay? Because the only thing that can give you strength is actually God and her energy. 
and not your hair products. Okay. Um, should I show you my face, my face products? I showed you guys that one. I mean, let's just kill the face products really quickly, right? Do you guys see how skinny I am? And then you guys want me to not eat carbs? Can you imagine how skinny I'm gonna be? I'm gonna be so goddamn skinny, guys. Um, I can't believe I have to stretch. Okay, so <laughs> if your name is Colin Farrell and you're in on it, please come forward. I did hear that. Guys, just you know, it's not. It doesn't really work like that. I, again, you're immortal. You're a mortal, and I think I lost my silver ball again to show you your size, your real size compared to us. It's just silly. It's a silly little tiny, silly little tiny thing. Asking Colin Farrell to come forward, you know. It's very silly and very tiny. Okay, so anyway, let's do face products really quickly. So hopefully we can kill them so that I can get my collagen without having to use stupid face stuff. And I can get um, strength in my hair without having to use collagen and detangler and everything like that since they're praying to Alyssa for strength. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Then we don't need collagen, do we? Okay. Uh, firm and lift face and neck mask okay <laughs> okay so this this one I love I love this one and it's a lot like th this other one that I have that I just used the last one here's the package okay this is my this is my absolute favorite um, face mask and it's BB face mask with collagen and they don't sell this anymore. I don't know what happened to it, but they used to sell this at Daiso, which is a Japanese like convenience store in California. And it's literally the best. And these were like literally the best. And I would, I would use these like at least once a week. Sometimes like I would use these a lot. Okay. So anyway, those are gone. Unfortunately, this is my last one of this kind. Okay. Which is also my favorite. These ones. Okay. So these ones are like a dollar. Um, and they're a dollar each and they're like so much better than the um the ones at Ulta and the ones at Sephora like I went crazy on face masks for a while and I would buy like the gold mask like I would buy like the really expensive I think they're, it's called like a 14 karat gold mask or whatever like I would buy like the really expensive face masks because I saw that these ones worked so goddamn well and these were a dollar and I was like well let me see what like the 58 dollar ones do or whatever they were shit Okay, they were shit compared to these. And I still have one of these left and you better believe I'm going to use it even if I even if I kill these even if I kill these products, even if I kill face um serums and stuff. Okay. Um Yeah, but the expensive ones, the expensive like face masks ones or whatever like because my mom because I gave these to my mom a really long time ago for Christmas and she was like oh I still have them if you want and she gave them back to me and I was like oh my god because they they stopped restocking these like years ago and I was like oh my god I love you so much and the you know the expensive ones like are shit <laughs> like they're shit and the the face the real the other face cream that I use I don't have it anymore because I ran out and I ran out of money, so I couldn't go buy some more one, some more of it. But it was um, confidence in a cream. I think it's called confidence in a cream. And yeah, confidence in a cream. 
And I wonder, I think I gave it to my mom once, so she might have, she might have it around somewhere. I'll ask her, but that, that shit is also amazing. I I think my whole family bought it. It, it, That shit works so well. It makes you look like you're 20 forever. And plus with these things, like, okay, that's all I used really. Like, and I told you, like I, I would buy, um, the ones from Sephora and Ulta, but they would never do anything. So I would just go back to using these. Okay. So, so now what I mean, what am I using for my face? You may ask. Okay. So that's almost done. It's almost gone, but it is the outset. Okay. It's the outset. It's Scarlett Johansson's line. And my mom was so funny. She bought these and then she put them in my room. because I thought she didn't like them. She gave them to me and I was like, oh, okay, I can have these. My mom, you know, gave them to me. And so I started using it and then she took it back like a week later or something. So that was like really fun. But anyway, so that's what I'm using. And, um, it's scarlet and it's just like a regular firming collagen cream and like a regular, like daily moisture with like, um, squalene, which is like a word we got used to. And we started caring about our skin and whatever. So, I put it in a face cream. <laughs> That's obviously Scarlet talking about. But anyway, so um, I mean, how rude! So rude. But anyway, so yeah. There's the face creams that I am currently using, and I was using this one, but it ran out. I think I showed you guys this one. Number seven, Lift Lumin- Luminate and Triple Action Serum. And this one was also provided to me by my mother. So that's so why I was like, you gave these to me. Why Why do you want them back? I don't understand. So, okay. Um, yeah, I just used like, the only one I ever bought was Confidence in a Cream and... Then when I ran out, I just used like whatever my mom gave me. Like, oh, I don't, I didn't like this one. Here you go. You use it. And I would just. So that's pretty much it. And then I got these back. So exciting. Definitely going to use this one. I guess this one's a little bit better because it uses your neck. I mean, it has the thing for your neck. So like you put it like this and it's for your neck too, which I guess is technically like better. But what I would do, I would use this 20 minutes on my face and then I would fold it in half. And then I would put it here and just like let it kind of like drain onto my neck for five. I would do five minutes on my neck. I mean, you probably should do 20 minutes on your neck as well. Like 20 minutes on your neck and 20 minutes on your face. Um, So maybe I'll do that with this one when I use it. But um, yeah, just like make sure like it's getting like, you know, getting all onto here and everything. <clears throat> so yeah. The second dream that I had was um So I talked about the first dream. Oh, I don't even think I talked about it. So the first dream I had, I, I married my friend, Ben, my friend, Ben, my ex-boyfriend, Ben. I'm trying to look for it. <clears throat> they're splitting. The hair products are splitting. They just went up to Andromeda instead of filling in since they're linked to fake capitalism. And Alyssa said she wants to pull her hair out because none of this is real. Okay, so I want to pull my skin off because none of this is real. Okay, so hopefully that'll work. Where the heck's the dream where I, did I not write it down? Okay, so I had a dream where my, I, w- I think it was like a c- conglomerate of boyfriends into one boyfriend, one ex-boyfriend in Los Angeles. I woke up at like five or six and then I went to bed at eight and I slept till or yeah, around eight and I slept till nine 30 and then I woke up. So like I get like 
I get sleep, but it's not like I don't get like um like if I'm waking up at like five, you know, five to eight, it's three hours. So like I, if I go to bed at like one, I don't know what time I go to bed, like twelve, like one, something like that, and then wake up at five. So I get five, six, seven, five, six hours of sleep a night. I don't know. And I do have a lot of energy and I do want to go for a fucking walk and I'm probably going to have to stretch because my Achilles heel fucking hurt so bad last night. And, um, okay. So I dreamt that I married Ben. I dreamt that I think it was a bunch of boyfriends into one. I dreamt that he bought me like all of this, like cool clothes to go on a snowboarding tour. Okay. So Ben is like a snowboarder from, uh, Boulder, Colorado, not Denver. And I think I always say Denver because it's like the the bigger city, but he's from Boulder. And um, he was a Los Angeles boyfriend. Okay. So he was a transplant from Boulder to LA and he grew up snowboarding, whatever, like every, you know, kid in Boulder, Colorado. And so he's really big into snowboarding. So like the dream wasn't like that weird or whatever, like, but like we were dating again and he bought me like all of this like snowboarding gear and like all this like like cool like outfits to wear like underneath the snowboarding gear too like just like a bunch of like cool outfits or whatever and then I would look in the pockets and there the pockets would be stuffed full of makeup and like all sorts of stuff for me and I was suspicious I was like I was like is this makeup for another girl like I was thinking in my head but I didn't say that out loud it's so funny because that means like I'm, I, that's, this means like it's probably like somebody else's um, actual life, actual real life. And I think I've described this before, but you guys are so stupid that like, I feel like I need to say it like sort of constantly because like, you're like that dumb. Um, but so it's like actually like somebody's real life where I jump in their suit, like the real, I'm the real one. Hi, nice to meet you. And I jump in their suit and I sort of um, like share energy with them or whatever. So like, so it's like my thoughts combining with their thoughts. And it's sort of like, um, it's sort of going to cause like cognitive dissonance, dissonance in that person. Cause like they're thinking like, they're thinking like suspicious thoughts of their freaking boyfriend slash fiance. And like, I wouldn't do that. But I did that yesterday to Hayden, believe it or not, because of like (laughs) all this crazy stuff. And I just like let that stuff go through me. But that's how I like end up jumping into these bodies. And guess what? Guess who was in Ben's body? Hayden. Okay. And it was probably, that's why I said it wasn't really just Ben. It was probably Ben and Hayden. Okay. And, um, and, um, (laughs) Okay, thanks for making me blush. Anyway, um <laughs> Okay, so anyway, um <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> I can't even talk now. So he bought me all this cool stuff and then and we were like, "Oh, oh my god, like you know, we were together when we were like super young or whatever and we didn't get along, but like now we're older and we're together and like we get along and like we never argue or anything. And, um, and so, um, yeah, it was like, oh my God, can you guys like stop like tuning in? Like, do you think I want to talk to you, Rosario Dawson about like how my actual, like how my actual husband is like, you know what I mean? Like just Peanut gallery, Blake, please be quiet, okay? <laughs> okay, so um okay, so anyway. <laughs> Obviously this is a group chat, right? And you guys are so annoying, so I'm trying to get this. So um yeah, so then he proposed to me in the um, in the dream, and it was Ben. I wasn't Hayden because I 
if it was Hayden in the dream and he proposed me, I would be like, cool, let's get married. But it was Ben. And I was like, this is so weird. Like, I can't believe I'm dating my ex-boyfriend and like we're getting along and now I'm getting married to my ex-boyfriend. Like Ben is a really nice person. He's a really, really nice guy, but like, I just wouldn't, I just don't see that happening in, in you know, in this lifetime where like, I'm, I'm going to like marry Ben. <laughs> um, and I think I did think about him and his sister yesterday. <clears throat> ben is a really nice guy. He's a really great, really great, nice guy. And I think he's on, on the right side. I don't think he's on um, the lost space man side at all. And what does Ben do for a living? Ben is a, um, a music video, uh, music video director, I think. And maybe like a, com like maybe he directs commercials too. So, um, yeah. I haven't, I haven't like caught up with him lately. So he might've like, I don't know. Like, oh, now I'm doing, um, you know, I don't know, sports commercials or something. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't talked to him in a while, but last time I talked to him, I think he was doing commercials direct ding commercials and he's also an editor so something like that I don't know okay but yeah so um yeah and I I gave him his um he loves to he's actually that's what I'm saying he's a really nice guy he he always like credited me for his career he's a sweet guy he's a sweet guy because um we dated like I said when we were really young and he didn't have any confidence and he was a valet and, um, and I was like, well, let me see your stuff, Ben. You know, I think I was a freelancer at the time. And he was like, man, that's just so cool how you can just like freelance and like, that's how you make money and everything. And you get to do your art, blah, blah, blah. And he was like really impressed by that or whatever. And he was a valet and he went to school for film and I was like, well, okay, well, let me see your stuff. And so like, I, you know, um, watched his reels and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, I, um, encouraged him. I was like, this stuff's really good. You know, you keep going, like just do. And I think I like gave him like a few suggestions, like just start, you know, why don't you just keep doing your free films and like see where it goes, you know? And I think that's like what, what ended up getting him, um, music video, music video directing gigs. And then that led to further, th further things. And he, he pretty much always did give me credit. So yeah. Um, yeah, things got weird. He's like, Alyssa was always crazy and she's never going to change for humanity. So good luck with that. <laughs> um, we did like date again. I would, I mean, whatever. We went on a date and then, then the energy kind of took him over. <laughs> so that happens. Yeah. Because like Brandon Lee and blah, blah, blah. So, um, anyway, um, that was the first dream. Hope you're doing well, Ben. Um, I did feel like Ben puking recently. Like, um, he looks, he looks like, um, he looks like a young Jude Law <laughs> with blonde hair. <clears throat> and everybody thought he was like, so super cute. Um, okay, does she need your help or sorry, Dawson? <laughs> does she know what she's talking about? <laughs> okay, and then the second dream I had was I dreamt I was on a train and I had a backpack on the train and I looked in the backpack and I got um, a gold chain and a purse out. And then I walked out off of the train. It was like, um, it was like a, um, a subway train or something. And then I walked into this 
elevator with my with the purse and the chain on and then I was like shit I left my backpack on the train and then I was like well whatever I just lost it I just lost it like what are they gonna do like save my backpack like for two or three weeks like they're never gonna save my backpack like you know I have like good headphones in there and like a couple of other things but like nothing crazy that can't be replaced like whatever and I just like let it go and I didn't even like freak out about it. And I had, I think it was like a, one of the people in the lucid dreams, which are not fucking giving us our goddamn book reports. So I feel like I'm jumping in their bodies instead because they're not, I feel like they're the 3d people that like are trying to keep up this 3d facade or whatever but they clearly know it's not real if, if their life feels like a lucid dream every freaking day. And, um, I guess they're embarrassed or something to come forward. But anyway, so I'm jumping in their bodies at night. I'll collect the data another way. Okay. If you don't want to post it on TikTok, All right. No problem. It's not a problem. So, um, she left her backpack back and she was like, whatever, which I thought was really funny because most people like when they leave like their bag somewhere, they like literally freak the F out and she had like zero reaction. Right. And then the purse, it was a turquoise purse, by the way, it was a different turquoise than Timothy Chalamet's um, trench, which was more like an electric light turquoise. And this was like more like a, a peacock turquoise. Um, peacock turquoise uh bag and it turned into a book so it wasn't even a purse it was a book and if you guys know how I feel about books and your purse turned into a book and you guys know I mean I don't know if you guys know I don't know if you know or not how I feel about books but yeah so that's pretty cool so um I think that's it for this morning I think I'm ready for my second cup of coffee and um um okay so like Hayden is getting my ex-boyfriend's memories so um he is sort of like going into my ex's lives in California and he's sort of like getting their memories sort of like how I'm getting lucid dream girls memories <laughs> right now um there was Aiden right right there so um yeah so he's going through my ex's in California's and gathering their memories um, and there's definitely like a lot of overlap. That, that made you guys mad. There was just a bang again in the attic, which is really driving me crazy because I go up there and I don't see anything. And I really want to see, like, I really want to see it with my eyes. I really like to see that kind of stuff. So what would make it, what would, Oh, that Hayden's collecting my ex's memories because that's how we do it because nothing's static and nothing's still and the body isn't real, so to say. You know what I mean? Um, okay. 